I really do feel like... I feel like the information that I share here is co-created with the universe. I really do. I, it comes through me. Sometimes I cannot write fast enough. That's how fast it comes through me. And I am co-creating this with the universe. And I really do feel like it's information that can help a lot of people. And so... Um, if you feel called to share it, please do. Please invite the people that you know um, that you think that this would resonate with. That, that um, Because, again, I feel like this information is coming through me, especially at the right time. We have a crazy, crazy world right now. <laughs> and um, tuning in instead of tuning out is, is really needed. This is like the call to action. Um, so if you are here, if you are watching this, I truly, truly, truly want to know if you are here to live the life of your dreams. Like, are you here to change? Because otherwise, if you're just here and you're just like watching or if you're listening to this on the podcast, if you're just listening, um, if you're just here watching and you aren't participating and you aren't taking this information and using this information to change, then why are you here, <laughs> right? It's, it's resonating with you in some way. If you're here listening... And you're not taking this information to change your life, to change your situation, to create what it is that you want to create. So today I really want to talk about manifesting the life of our dreams. And like manifesting is like the big buzzword right now, is manifesting, right? But it's a thing. <laughs> it is a thing. And the more I mess around with this, the more I'm manifesting, and I have so much evidence, it is wild. <laughs> it's really wild. And the way that I do this is through transformational art journaling. And it's really and truly just getting out of our own way, because that's what we do. We get in our own way. It's getting out of our own way and allowing instead of forcing. One of the things that I really realized that I was doing over the last, I'd say probably, I don't know, maybe five-ish or so years, prior, four maybe. Um, actually, I'm, I'm even just going to say since my heart stint is really when, if I'm being honest and I'm looking back, like there was so much chaos going on all over the place. Obviously, it was COVID and all of that. But when I look back, I was forcing. I was forcing. I wasn't allowing. As much as I thought I was allowing. I was forcing. I was comparing. I'm not an overthinker and I'm not a perfectionist. I never have been either of those things. I just do. <laughs> right? But I was letting myself sit in confusion. And I was forcing instead of allowing. And I was like, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm gonna, now I'm gonna do this, now I'm gonna do this, now I'm gonna do this, now I'm gonna do this. Like I know you guys can understand that, right? And so there is a saying, um, it's a quote, his name is Hermes Tresmegistus. <laughs> Probably botched that. Um, and it is from the Kabbalion, which is a really, 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 really old and ancient manuscript. And the quote is, as within, so without. And so if you look around in your world, at your business, at your bank account, at your relationships, at your studio, <laughs> mine's a mess, um, you can understand where your mind is at because you create your life. So if you are always telling yourself 
here's me. I was always telling myself I was in confusion, right? And so what did I stay in? Confusion. <laughs> Kept me stuck, right? What is happening on the inside projects to the outside. So you create your life. So what are you creating? As within, so without. And you probably don't even know you're saying this stuff to yourself. The comparing, I'm not good enough. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to do that. Um, and also, too, like you can flip this on to the opposite side, right? You might be telling yourself amazing things and having an amazing life. It's, you know, goes both ways. As within, so without. What you give, you get. So I always look at it as like, what are the lessons? What are the lessons? Like, what are the lessons that I learned from forcing? And I guess it's going to have to go back to before I got the heart condition because uh, the blockage in my heart, because that was a spontaneous blockage. My cardiologist can't find a reason why that happened to me, right? So I was creating that. The way that I was putting myself last, the way that I was letting myself be in confusion, I was helping everybody but myself, you know, all of the things, right? I'm keeping myself in confusion. What should I be doing? I don't know. And then, you know, on the inside, comparing myself and telling myself I'm not good enough. Um, even though, like, consciously, I know all the things like, oh, no, no, I'm good enough. I know I'm a good artist or whatever. Consciously, you know that, but unconsciously, your subconscious, your subconscious mind is telling you another story. And it is that story that I am interested in uncovering. And I do this through transformational art journaling. So what are the lessons that I learned from that? Like forcing makes you sick. <laughs> Forcing gets you 99% blocked in your Widowmaker artery. I can't ever remember the real name of it. Um, forcing is hard. So what can I learn and uncover in my own brain so that I can nurture my gifts and give birth to my creative ventures, like my actual creative ventures. And so like, this is what I am asking you to understand in yourself too. What can you learn from the past? Instead of saying, oh my God, well, I have evidence that this is never going to happen. Or like, this keeps happening to me. Or this is one in a line of five things that has happened to me lately. Like, you're creating that. So what I'm asking you to do is dig in and understand why you're creating that. What are the thoughts in your subconscious brain that are running on autopilot that is creating this situation for you? Whatever it is, what can you learn? What can you uncover so that you can nurture your gifts and actually live the life that you dream of living? Actually embody what you want. You are that now. You just have to get out of your own way. And that is the thing. Like, if you can dream about it, it is there for you. It is meant for you. We are limitless. And I'm like thinking, and I even drew out in my notes the infinity symbol. We are infinite. We are limitless. It feels so expansive. It is nuts. It feels expansive. I feel large. <laughs> large Marge, Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> I feel large. It's crazy. You actually understand that you are co-creating your life with yourself. <laughs> you understand that you are limitless. Limitless. So if you had a symbol, if you walked away from today and all you remembered is the infinity symbol, then I've done my job. <laughs> we are infinite. Our brains are capable of so much more. I just watched this thing on the Gaia network and um, I think it's called Mind Over Matter. And... They're literally teaching kids how to see 
and they have full blackout blindfolds on. And they can see, they took them through like these obstacle courses and they t- they randomly picked a book and put it in front of them and the kids read from the book with the blindfold on. Like we are limitless. We are limitless. We are capable of everything. It is a matter of making your mind your ally. What if you made your mind your best friend and you actually got to go out and play and have fun together? What if you committed, you and your best friend committed, to using your mind to create infinite resources for yourself, infinite love for yourself, infinite relationships, infinite connections, infinite self-love? What if you did that? What is possible for you then? Our brain is capable of so much more. You can think about it like I totally set an image of like you and I like blocking arms and skipping down the road and like let's go do this. Like let's make what we love. Let's do what we want. Let's create abundance in others. Like woo! <laughs> you know, like that's what you're doing with your brain. Let's go do it together. Instead of what we always do is, you know, instead we sabotage ourselves. Like Your best friend doesn't want to sabotage you. What do they want to do? Go have fun. Go out. Go to whatever. You know, like we work on sabotaging ourselves so much. It's just automated and we don't even know we're doing it. So like I work on this daily and I continue to have just (laughs) ah ahas and breakthroughs so that I am understanding so clearly how infinite I am. We all are. And I'm really understanding how I have kept my own self stuck in the past. And it's not, I'm not like, oh my God, I'm so stupid. Why did I do that? Like, that's the dumbest. And now I can't ever do anything. I don't, I'm not doing that at all. It is literally just like, I'm looking like through a, um, like a microfiche or something, you know, where I'm just looking back and I'm like, wow, I totally get why that happened. Oh, I understand how I created that. Wow. I was saying those things all the time. Wow. Okay, so then I can go, I understand, like, when these thoughts come up, how I can dismiss them now. Like, that is a lie. That's a lie. But, like, we don't even understand we're doing it. But when we do is when we can make the change. And that is so powerful. That is when, like, you hear people say, step into your power. That is it. You literally feel it coursing through you. It's literally powerful. You think about like (laughs) being like a conjurer and I'm thinking of like Disney movies where they have like the, um, I think it was uh, Sleeping Beauty and there was like um, the, I don't know what she was. She was magic (laughs) and she like swirled around her and then she had like teapots and like she had other stuff that are like helping clean, like the broom cleaned and like she conjured it all. Like that's the image I kind of think of, but like that's what we are. And, like, I literally, in that same Mind Over Matter show, I saw somebody move tinfoil just by thinking about it. So, like, (laughs) we are capable of so much more. You have that control. And it's being a proponent of inspired action for yourself. Like, the one thing that is still, like, I am still learning about (laughs) is why I'm not allowing myself to lose the weight that I have gained since my heart thing. And I know, I know, I am aware I'm keeping it as a protection for something, right? But I am committed. I see this so clearly and I am so committed to conjuring something new that even like last night I knew I had to do yoga and I literally did not want to. 
I could have done anything to not do it. I still went and did it. Because I am co-creating positivity <laughs> and limitless potential with myself. That's what I'm co-creating. Being a proponent for yourself and using your brain as your ally. Because when you actually decide to manifest what you want, you're going to stop fighting yourself. Like last night, I just so saw it in myself. Like, girl, get up and go do it. What's Why wouldn't you? You know, why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I want to be the strongest, healthiest version of myself? Why wouldn't I? That is self-love. That's co-creation. That's starting at the identity level and then taking it from there. You'll take the inspired action to consciously co-create with yourself. That's making the commitments, making the habits. And this is the life that you want. And this is who you actually are. We can, if we can see it for ourselves, it is meant for us. That's who we are. We just get in our own way of allowing it to happen. We get into force. And by the way, if you have not taken my Letting Go class, it's a five-day mini course, go take it. It's super powerful. Just allow yourself to do it. Um, and I am actually, I'm talking about co-creating with the universe, right? I am actually creating something right now that is the best thing that I have ever written. The best thing that I have ever done, that I am in the middle of creating right now. It's the best thing ever. I swear to you, it's coming from source. It's coming from universe, I am co-creating this. When I say I can't write fast enough, I am creating something that is so expansional. I am like jumping out of my skin. I am so excited about it. It's so good. It's so, so good. It's so good. And what I am doing is I'm going to do a new five-day course. And you're like, oh, my God, you always have five-day courses, blah, blah, blah. But listen, this is going to be, I think I'm going to do it through email. It's going to be the first week of December. And you're like, oh, my God, the holidays. I don't have time. It's the holidays. This is when you actually should be taking even more time for yourself. So it's going to be a, what is it going to be called? Um, I am Limitless. A, let's see, I am limitless in art journaling manifestation discovery. That is what it's going to be. It's going to be five days. You're going to get an emailed video and the videos are not going to be long. Um, and so this is really and truly going to introduce you to this new amazing program that is like literally being given to me. It is coming right through me. <laughs> and it's been so organic for me because I am I'm I'm doing it. I'm recording it. It is my art journaling process, but it's been so organic for me. I'm doing it along with you. And the changes that I am seeing in myself from just these first 3 videos for this new program I'm doing, my mind is blown. <laughs> I can't even tell you. It is blown. So I'm going to do um, five videos. They'll be 20 minutes or less. And when you show up and you commit to yourself to this process, you will see a change in yourself. The people that are already doing it with me, like Pam is here and she's doing like the, um, the law of attraction journaling with me uh, once, once a month, that's still going to go on. I, I Whatever, I'm not even going to talk about this. But anyways, the people that are doing that with me are having massive transformational change. They're seeing it in themselves. And so this is really and truly a deep dive into more of that, into more of that. So it's allowing the truth to prevail instead of allowing the lies that we tell ourselves to prevail. And like, there is a quote from the Buddha that I actually heard this morning. And let me just open it on my phone so I can make sure I'm saying the right thing. 
what you think you become, what you feel you attract, what you imagine you create. That's from Buddha. I, I didn't write that. <laughs> That's what this art journaling process is all about. And I want to, honest to God, share it with the world because it has been life-changing. Not only for me, but the people who are brave enough to show up for themselves and create the transformation in themselves. It has been mind-blowing mind-blowing again when you actually decide with commitment that you are already who you wish to be you start seeing it in yourself you start feeling it like if you've been on the from the beginning right now i feel my energy feels huge it feels huge it is filling up this room it is filling up everything it's expansive because I am understanding how limitless I am. You can do this too. <laughs> you can do this too. If somebody like me can do it, you can do it too. Again, when you decide to manifest your desires and your dreams, you see and feel this infinite change within yourself. It is crazy. You expand you are limitless you are limitless so this is going to come out the first week of december and i want to tell you something <laughs> i don't even have it done yet but i am writing this so furiously fast and furiously it is just crazy <laughs> It's just crazy. So it will be ready. And as I was doing my writing this morning, all of this came out. Like I wasn't, I didn't have it worked out how this was all gonna even happen and I still don't, right? This is, this is what I do. <laughs> I am trusting that this information, I know it. It's, I don't even have to trust, I know it because it has made such a huge change in me. I know that this is going to make a huge change in you. It's the commitment. So I decided instead of like having to get together on Zoom for five days and like it's so much time, I decided I'm just gonna do short 20 minute videos with this art fusion journaling process and it's called I Am Limitless and Art Journaling Manifestation Discovery. That's what it's called. Isn't that exciting? Who, I'm like dying over this. Who is in? Who is going to join me in this? And I know that there are only a few people here right now, um, but I know that people will see this on YouTube. I know that people will listen to this on the podcast. Who's in? Who is in? Who is doing this with me? Yes. Yes. I love it. I love it. I understand my purpose now. I have gone through all of the things that I have gone through, including learning how to create cool art, right? Because that makes it so much more powerful. Like this to me, when I'm looking down at it, like I understand what is in here. This is the concretized image of who I am. The expanse of the universe is waiting for us all. It's, it's mind blowing. It feels really good. And like, I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. And does that create a lot of work for myself? Yeah, it totally does. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because I am loving it. It is fun. It's fun. That's what I want to create. Fun and abundance. Uh, it sounds perfect. I'm just about done, but I want to tell you that even though you hear this all the time, I want to tell you that until you embody it, you'll never know it. So like you can say, yeah, I've heard that before. Oh, I know this already, right? But until you embody it, that's 
when you see the change. That's when you feel the change. That's when you are so freaking expansive. You can hardly sit in your chair. That's what I feel like right now, just like alive and like I have purpose. And that, the purpose, that word that I just said is a clue to part of this new program that I'm creating. It's like, it's so good. It's so good. There's like paths that you can go down and like the first one we're gonna do is purpose. So you're going down the purpose path and you're gonna figure out all these little things with your purpose and like, it's crazy. It's crazy. Just the first three, I have nothing is impossible. And I have written, you know, I've written underneath here. Nothing's impossible. That was the first one. There's three different purposes that we're going to work on. I can't open it. Then I can create soulful magic. And, oops, blessed. I am blessed. Like, that's something to embody as well, right? We can say that all we want, but if we're actually embodying that, totally different and then this is the beginning of everything those are the first three that I did and like I'm telling you I have written it so fast and not only have I gotten the instructions I have this big notebook full of like this is exactly how it's gonna happen and this is what they have to write I've done it myself those are the first three spreads that I did and I feel so expanded. It is crazy. That's how I know that this is so good. It's not, I'm not being egoic about it. It's literally co-created with source. I have no doubt in my mind about that. So this is going to be December 1st. You're going to get an email every single day. It will be $11.11 because I'm asking for commitment. It's 11 bucks, okay? I'm asking for commitment. I'm certain I could charge way more for this five-day challenge for the transformation that you will receive. But I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to do $11.11. And, um, and then we'll talk about this new program that's coming out um, that I am infinitely infinitely excited about we are limitless we are infinite we are infinitely limitless <laughs> and that's what this new program is going to show you so again if you're just leaving this motivation monday with anything i want you to think about the infinity symbol i want you to think about how infinite you are how limitless you are and i want you to start co-creating that with yourself for yourself. All right. And I will see you right here next week, Monday.